in 2012, First Choice Services is awarded the Health Information Technology Grant by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. First Choice named this project ATARI, which stands for Appalachian Technology Assisted Recovery Innovations. Atari aims to introduce the use of technology within the treatment, maintain and increase engagement in aftercare, prevent relapse, and develop community partnerships. First Choice partnered with the University of Wisconsin to offer a new tool to those struggling with addiction. Clients at participating West Virginia Behavioral Health Centers were offered the HS Alcohol Comprehensive Health Enhancement Support System app. The app allows clients to get the latest information on resources and support groups in their area, share challenges and encouragement with each other, and stay more connected with their clinician. The app reminds clients to do a weekly survey which consists of 10 items and can be completed in just a few minutes. The first five items relate to protective factors and serves as a gentle reminder to be mindful of increasing their success in recovery. The second five items relate to risk factors and allows them to self-monitor their choices of situations that might pose a risk to their recovery. The surveys are shared with the clinician and allow for monitoring and modification of recovery plans and may prompt both clients and clinicians to increase support or enhance skills to help clients self-regulate and avoid relapse. When clients complete four weekly surveys in a row, they are eligible to receive up to $40 in credit toward their cell phone bills and data plans. The easing distress function provides brief guided exercises designed to help clients learn relaxation skills, relaxation breathing, assertiveness, how to deal with urges or cravings, refusal skills, and how to report a relapse. Recovery information is available to allow clients to learn more about their addiction. Our stories and podcasts are audio files that allow clients to access pre-recorded shows that feature recovery artists and those who are sharing the story of their recovery. Audio files allow clients to listen to recovery material while they are doing other things and helps those with literacy issues access information which supports their recovery. Other features are the panic button, which allows clients to reach out to others with a single tap. They can enter cell numbers of friends and family, and if clients are in a crisis, the app will send a text message to the support team. Another helpful feature is recovery motivation, where clients can revisit their motivation to stay in recovery. Clients and counselors can utilize the interactive discussion board by posting concerns or responding to questions, as well as continue to talk about topics that may have been discussed in group sessions with the counselor. The discussion board allows the clients to share their experience, strength, and hope to promote recovery between face-to-face -face meetings. Current partner programs include Prestera OTP, Huntington, Westbrook Genesis Program, Parkersburg, Valley New Beginnings, Fairmont, Lee Day Report Center, Weirton and Moundsville, and CRC Clarksburg and Charleston. Although individual user confidentiality is preserved, the HS app provides a wealth of statistical data, showing in real time the type of information that is accessed and how it was used. Just during the first year, one agency with 29 clients reports only four relapses since taking part in the Atari program. One agency with eight clients reports zero relapses since taking part in the Atari program. Clients have become more engaged with their clinicians and recovery peers. They've shown increased motivation towards recovery by utilizing incentive programs. They've been provided a safe, supportive recovery environment 24-7, and the clinicians have been given the tools needed to provide additional support and intervention.